Since we operate under a democratic system that rules by a majority vote, and this should mean the majority of the citizens who are voting in the city, I therefore move that we instruct the city attorney to draft an amendment to the city charter to be submitted to the citizens of Dallas, which amendment would allow the voting majority of the citizens to determine who would be the mayor pro tem of the city of Dallas. Well, I think so. Uh, I don't actually think the, the death penalty has been abolished by anyone, but it's kind of been in limbo since they've had the uh, questions raised as to constitutionality of state laws on it. This opinion is, I can hear from wire service reports, and I haven't read the original opinion. It holds that uh, the procedures followed in all of the 48 states are, do not violate the Constitution. It also holds that uh, the legislature are not required to set up guidelines for juries in assessing the death penalty. There's some 44 people, I believe, from uh, Texas have received the death penalty. We have 15 from Dallas that have received the death penalty that are in various stages of appeal. What happens is a person gets the death penalty, he's appealed the case to Austin, then to the Supreme Court, then it comes back and goes through habeas corpus proceedings. Most of these uh, cases are in some form of appeal. Their sentence or the time for their sentence is there's no setting for it. Some judge will have to set it later on.
think the uh, community mm -hmm. action program, like many programs, it's a new program. Uh, I understand this one has been uh, in uh, effect here since 1965-66, and all new programs require reevaluation and uh, uh, from time to time. And uh, I, but by and large, I feel like it, it it's doing a good job. Okay. The President's Commission on Marijuana came on campus today with, as they said, an open mind. They wanted to hear what the students had to say about the use and effects of marijuana and the ethics of the laws surrounding it. As with any issue, there were two sides vocalized, but the majority, some 20 to 1, were on the side for legalization of marijuana. Uh, how do you get the possession of it? How is it distributed to you? Today, General Ayers and his two top aides on the Air Guard side of the program, General Jim Rose and General Buck Stout, did make that investigation tour to Garland. Following the conclusion of the investigation, I talked with General Ayers about what he found. What we actually did was to all of the people involved and myself, General Rose and General Stout, agreed that we were going to try to wash our own linings and uh, that they would be uh, a new start, so to speak, and we we're going to supervise this uh, real closely to see that everyone involved gets uh, a chance to perform in, in a new manner. Well, did you, did you find specifically evidence of draft evasion? No, sir, I did not. Did you find evidence of misuse of government funds? No, sir, not misuse of government funds. Did you find e evidence of misuse of government property? I, I don't think you'd construct it as misuse, but uh, there was uh, some mishandling of it, uh, I think. Well, are you, as the ranking general of the National Guard, satisfied that it was of such a minor nature that it can successfully be handled without uh, uh, some sort of strident action being taken against the people involved? Well, <coughs> uh, I think it can be handled without uh, severe penalties in this particular instance. Uh, with the cooperation of the individuals involved, I, uh, of course, I never considered the mishandling uh, of uh, any government property, regardless of how small it is, as being minor. But uh, uh, the intent of the individuals involved, I think, has a lot to do with it. In this case, I don't think the individuals had criminal intent. I asked General Ayers about the possibility of recrimination against those people who filed the complaints regarding the 221st. He said quite bluntly, I'd better not hear of any. And he said, there are some problems, but we hope to be able to clear them up to do our own laundry. So as it stands right now, only time will tell what will come out of that investigation. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News on the Move. enough to join the mainstream of Dallas life and help those of us on this city council do something in the problem areas of poverty, race relations, inadequate housing, crime control, litter, and pollution. I would ask every citizen here today and every citizen of this great city, do you care enough to truly live the quality of life and all America City has to offer. I think it's uh, important that with the public resources for higher education limited, uh, that at least the great national universities uh, uh, must have limited enrollment. 
the students who are admitted must make reasonable academic progress. Uh, and although they should have wide uh, variety of options uh, to them, I think it's foolish for them to try to come to a university if they are simply there to, uh, 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 to avoid the realities of life. Uh, and they must make room for those who are serious about getting university education. I solemnly swear, solemnly swear that, I will faithfully execute the duties, that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of member 